The continuous decline in importation and multiple valuation of cargo by customs, even after being released from the port, is gradually killing Nigeria's fragile economy, according to Kyle de Farrington, the managing director of Wealthy Honey Investment Limited. There has been serious confusion as regards the unit in charge of cargo valuation in the customs, as it has been noticed that after a cargo has been released from the port, another unit of customs, FOU, picks up the same cargo and subjects it to another examination outside the port. In most cases, the importers are asked to pay another duty. Farrington in the chat with journalists in Lagos highlights several unfriendly and anti-business activities of customs officials targeted at deliberately frustrating trade and cargo evacuation from the port. You recall about two, one year ago, the WCO came to Nigeria and spoke about time release study, where even stakeholders associations were made as members of this uh, committee. I have shouted on a several occasions that the time release studies that were put in place by WCO has been jettisoned by custom. There was never a time where custom even called to give us update or for us to rub mind on how long does it take when the cargo is on stock at the key April and when it gets to the concernees warehouse. And they won't be able to do that in view of the fact that 70% of the delays in cargo clearance is caused by Nigerian customs officers or Nigerian customs modus operandi. So we cannot continue to die in silence and we we'll continue to tell the whole world that this is what is happening. So very soon now we're going to send our representative to the WCO because the office is in Abuja, the powerful letter, and look at the error or the modus operandi of our Nigerian customs service vis-a-vis -vis the fact that it's not helping uh, Nigerian economy to grow. And don't forget that these are one of the things that determine uh, foreign investors' uh, intention to come to our country and want to establish. So I have spoken about that. And uh, if you look at recently, about one or two years ago, no, one year, rather one year ago, they started slamming 25% uh, penalty on any uh, infraction in any declaration, irrespective of whether that infraction is willingly or, or not willingly. But I remember that they are relying on Section 164 of Custom and Excise Management Act, and that section is very, very explicit. Where an importer willingly under declare a cargo, then you cannot slam either uh, cease between the value of the goods on them, and that is where the issue of 25% comes in. But as I talk to you now, in all the parts of the Federation, they are using this 25% now to extort Nigerian importers. Because you are now, I'm twisted to, if you have any declaration, maybe a short, that is a, because it is possible when you make, want to make your importation, maybe you are making for 200 cartons, for example, and eventually the exporter may now say, in the course of your discussion, they load 250 cartons. The excesses may not be deliberate. I am not talking for those who are doing it out of uh, lack of patriotism. Because we have also a category of uh, importer who may be, you know, hiding under that. Dubious. Dubious. Uh, thank you for that and doing that. But I'm talking of people who have genuine intention. We now have a situation where custom just arbitrarily slam this 25% penalty on any infraction. Particularly when they want to give you the demand notices, which we call DN. We have challenged them on several occasions and nothing has been done about it. And above all, is the, uh, the issue of an individual that seems to be too powerful in the management of Nigerian Customs Service. And the office of, and that is the office of the DCG Tariff and Trade. And that is, I'm talking of uh, uh, Talatu. She's too powerful now that she does not even reckon to the procedure. We have a situation where a DC now, DCG now monitors all the declaration throughout the whole federation. There can be an alert from our office, and even when you are saying you are challenging that alert, you will be frustrated because they will make sure that it is either you pay that DN or you leave that pot, that consignment in the pot. So I want to ascribe to the fact that one percent of cargo or 5% of cargo that are deliberately accumulating demorages and storages in the port is as a result of this high handedness of this officer. I know that in the alternative desperate resolution procedure, if you give me a DN and I am protecting or protesting that DN at the command level, you have the right to go to Abuja. When you get to Abuja and you are still not satisfied, the, I have the right to carry, carry that cargo. All I need to give is just give indemnity. 
but this particular uh, management team has frustrated that small window that is left for genuine importers so and that is why you see many nigerian importers now grudgingly they want to pay that dn and carry their cargo the only thing they will happen is i may not import again for now because we do not have ld environment so that is another issue then i talk about a lot from the same custom unit we have valuation a lot we have a quarter a lot we have a CIU alert. We have the various DC terminals set up committee. They have their own alert. Recently, now we noticed that the controllers in the Western Zone have set up another office, which they call monitoring unit, to extort Nigerian importers and Nigerian free forwarders. And God save your soul, if you do not go through this particular office, there is no way you can take your cargo out of the port. The gentlemen of the press, there is what we call investigative journalists. Go to Tinkan, go to PTML, go to Papa, ask agent what I'm telling you, whether they are not actually there. But we need to let Nigerians know that we are going, the, the economy of Nigeria may go into what is called Abyssima if things are not done immediately and to correct all this thing that is happening. He also called on the federal government of Nigeria to immediately dissolve the current management team of Nigerian custom, as well as changing the Minister of Finance to save the nation's economy from crashing. We want Nigerians to know that we have a custom, of sub, custom management team that is killing our economy. We have a custom management team that is not helping the economy of this country to grow. They only have two types of target. The first one is still one for federal government, the second one is for their own private way. For crying out loud, in the interest of this country, let us jettison the, our individual interests and look at how this country will move forward. And that's why I'm saying that it is high time this federal government sacked this management team and it is high time the Honorable Minister of Finance is being sacked. Brownson Uwana for Nigeria Maritime TV.